A lot of people view Eugenia Cuny as a problematic influencer because of the image that she pushes to her audience. And I've seen a lot of people speculating about her, you guys, but today we're going to be speculating about the Cooney family. That is right. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive, you guys. And when I say deep dive, I dove to the darkest corners of the web just to get some information that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today about not just her mother, her father, and her brother, you guys. We're going to be diving right into the tragic Cooney family. Chip Cooney is Eugenia Cooney's brother and not a lot is known about him because he does stay off the internet fairly well just like her mom and her dad does. But he still plays a very pivotal part in Eugenia's life. And through photos and what few videos we have of them together that's been made public you guys, it seems like they have a very close brother-sister relationship but Eugenia has stated otherwise in prior videos. She once detailed a time where her brother had pushed her down the stairs and then harmed himself to give himself bruises, and then reported to their mother that she had actually shoved him down the stairs, to which Eugenia got locked in her room for the rest of the night. There's a lot more stuff, you guys, but something I want to dive into, like, straight away about the brother is that he is an artist, allegedly. I don't want to call him that, you guys, just because I am disturbed by what he draws. If you guys look up videos of the brother and his artwork drawings, a lot of them speculate that they are Eugenia in the drawings. And I know what you're thinking, that could be a stretch, but hear me out, there's a lot of threads about this on Reddit. This user states he has drawn pictures of Eugenia naked and in provocative poses. Some drawings look like amused sketches, where it seems like she was literally posing for him while he drew her. Another thing here he stated is that he had asked Eugenia before if she would have posted her nudes to Snapchat and also apparently said something to Eugenia's grandmother at one point regarding her wanting to be a prostitute or something of this sort. Again, a lot of people speculate that the drawings that he makes is actually of Eugenia, and here is a lion that he drew and she's actually a Leo. Again, this is all just speculation, so I don't want to spend too much time on this subject. There are videos that Eugenia has made during her live stream where she is defending his drawing, saying, hey, he just wants to be an animator, and when you want to be an animator and draw, it's important to know anatomy, saying that, you know, not to make it weird because, you know, that's her brother. But, come on, the whole situation is just weird, you guys. My brother is 17 years old. I know a lot of people like Disney, but he's, like, obsessed with Disney. We go to Disney World kind of a lot because he always just, like, begging to go to Disney World and stuff like that. Just another thing to you guys, because of the brother's love for, like, the extreme love that he has for Disney, it's kind of been pushed on Eugenia as well throughout her any clips of this anywhere or any articles talking about it, but I have seen so many people say it that I believe it could have. I don't know. Just hear me out. There is a lot of speculation that he asked um, or asked Eugenia at some point if she would ever post her news to Snapchat and then speculated to their grandmother. Chip had speculated to the grandmother that she was going to do sex work at some point, you guys. So I have no idea. I just think that's like incredibly, incredibly weird. There's also speculation that Chip is on the spectrum and the mother kind of uses this as like an advantage, not like necessarily an advantage, but an excuse to just excuse away all of Chip's behavior. So on occasions, he's been known to take over Eugenia's room or even her bathroom or just kick her out of her room entirely. And she just kind of has to deal with it because the mother kind of excuses it off as, hey, you know, just kind of let him do what he needs to do. And because Chip is mostly offline, you guys, that's all I'm going to be saying about him for now. But you guys can do your own independent research on this subject because he is out there on the internet. There's just very few things of him, and I don't want to keep digging and digging and putting things out there that, you know what I mean. I just, for his respect and privacy, I'm just going to be saying the things that are speculated that are currently circulating the internet. Now, let's move on and talk about her mother next. Let's investigate Miss Deb Cooney. You guys in a bathing suit, nonetheless. Eugenia became very uncomfortable. And started stating to her mom, yeah, I know, I just, I need to get dressed, like, there's people here. In those clips and being subjected to that by her own mother in public. But Deb is probably the biggest enabler, embarrassment of a mom that you could possibly have, in my opinion. And this isn't even the tip of the iceberg to the things that she has done to this girl and put her through. 
Her mom is really heavily involved in the production of her content. She's usually the one filming it, and that's why in her streams you hear the heavy breathing. A lot of people speculate that that is Eugenia, but it's actually just her breathy mom behind the camera. Now, since her mom does have this huge involvement with Eugenia's content, she's also the one who okays and approves all this stuff that she does in public, even encourages it. She encourages her daughter to get undressed in the stores and dress right there outside of the public changing rooms, but she also encourages a lot of other negative things in her content. She also has been caught saying a lot of negative things in Eugenia's content, such as this clip I'm about to show you where she's taking Eugenia golfing, Eugenia can't hit the ball properly, and she says, bury me now. I don't think that Deb is doing well. So if she's not doing well mentally, how is she going to be mentally healthy enough to help children who aren't mentally there either? Jacqueline Glenn also made a video, guys, and she talked heavily on how overbearing the mother was. The mother was calling her a bitch and the whole nine yards whenever Jacqueline Glenn 5150 would her because the mom would only let Eugenia out on basically special conditions and this was her way of kind of keeping Eugenia out of psychiatric treatment and she would always state that she would die of a heart attack. So Deb just claims her heart isn't healthy enough for Eugenia to go and get help, you guys. So after Jacqueline Glenn let the psychiatric team in her house, the, they call it PET in California. So after she let the PET into her home to talk to Eugenia, they decided, yeah, like we are going to take this girl. Like we are going to do a 5150. And then Eugenia called her mother and was like, oh my goodness, mom, like telling her the whole thing. So Eugenia's mother ended up calling Jacqueline and it called her a B-I-T-C-H and the whole nine yards. She also called the cops on Jacqueline. So as the police arrived to make sure that Eugenia went to treatment, they also sent another squad car basically just to pick up Jacqueline Glenn on alleged kidnapping charges. This isn't even the worst part, you guys. This whole time and even to this day, it's like Deborah enjoys the attention from how skinny that her daughter is. And she even encourages the nickname Skeleton Queen which an infamous old Reddit owner had coined, but Deb had said multiple times that she has no problems or seen no problems with Eugenia and always diss the haters. These haters that she is dissing, though, are all the people who genuinely love her daughter, unlike she does, in my opinion, and want her to get the help that she deserves. And notice how Deb always has such a strong camera presence and such a strong opinion and has to be in all of her videos, and she's very comfortable in the camera. But for some odd reason, during Shane's documentary with Eugenia, she seemed to be fine just leaving them alone in the room and disappearing for a while off of the camera, which seems to be very convenient for her, in my opinion, since the topic of the video was her in an alleged recovery. There's also this video where Eugenia and her mother went to Walmart. It was her mother's birthday, so her mother's picking out flowers, very excited about it. So they're walking back out to the parking lot where her mother has a little mishap and drops some flowers and breaks them. And then she does some mental crazy gymnastics and turns the situation on Eugenia, who wasn't even close to her. She was walking behind her and blamed her for the situation. You know, my brother, he doesn't like YouTube, but oh well. Oh no! Yeah. You dropped your flowers! Oh, okay, give me a Okay, my mom just broke her flowers, so she's like super pissed now. I guess I somehow made my mom break her flowers, which I didn't really need to do it, but maybe I was being distracting. Everybody jump down in my comment section and tell Eugenia, girl, you did nothing wrong. I don't know why her mom is so crazy. Now, I don't want to do any medical speculation, you guys. This is a new guideline, by the way, for YouTube, so if you are a content creator, heads up that you're not able to medically misinform anybody now it's against the community guidelines so with that being said i'm gonna let you guys do all this speculation in the comment section eugenia is known to have scoliosis and here's something i found very interesting from her draw my life once i was cut out of my mom's stomach i was put into a crib i hated the crib so my mom kept me in a car seat which she called a bucket i never slept much i was always looking around wondering how to get out of my bucket it took me a year to figure that out maybe i'm looking too much into the car seat situation you guys but let me know in the comments what you guys think about that 
Of course, there's so much more on the internet. You guys can do your own research again on this topic, but just for the purposes of this documentary, documenting her family members, I'm going to be moving on to talk about Eugenia Cooney's father. Now, not a lot is known about this man, but believe it or not, there are things about him out on the internet, and this is all stuff that Eugenia has said and stuff that other people has collected, so let's dive right into it. Eugenia's dad has made some appearances on her streams, but you can't really call them appearances because he's never really shown his face, except for this one clip, and it you can barely see it, and this is the only real footage that we have of him online. What the problem is for me now? Oh, hello? Oh, excuse me. Hi. I just wanted to thank That's you okay. for your beautiful card. Yeah, and your like gift. It. I need it. Uh, yeah. Are you on the camera? No, thanks. Oh, okay. You're the star. No, I'm actually having some major problems, but thanks. Yeah, all right, thank you. Of course. Happy Father's Day! This is the closest that the internet has gotten to seeing her father, you guys. And it's super blurry, like, it's not even necessary to really see his face, you guys, but I just feel like this should be included. Aside from never showing his face on a camera, you guys, which maybe he doesn't want to be associated with this whole image that Eugenia and her mom has, like, brewed up online for themselves, but maybe at the same time, it's for a more sinister reason than we think. Now, here is a clip of him telling Eugenia she doesn't look a day over 14. Hi, Miss Holm. Hi. Thank you. I'm on you now. Does everyone know it's your birthday? Um, no, do you guys know it's my birthday? Did you guys know that? Do you guys know it's my birthday today? I love you. Day over 14. You, uh, really? Yeah. Again, I've said this so many times throughout this little documentary, but I feel like I could be just looking into things a little bit too hard, but she pushes such a childlike image in all of her videos with all the stuffed animals in the background and the bows in her hair and the dressing up and the little skirts. So I think that, I don't know, maybe this family is trying to push that stay young, look young image just to keep racking in the views and appeal to a childlike audience. There's a lot of really painful gum operations where you probably do need Novocaine or more drugs than that, obviously. My dad is so bad with getting his teeth done that he even gets Novocaine when he's just getting a cleaning. I don't know. Okay, I understand what you guys are about to say. There's nothing wrong with that just because some people do have more sensitive teeth. So it is better just to get Novocaine when you're doing certain things, you guys, when it comes to getting your teeth done. But hear me out. With how crazy her mother is, I question sometimes if she is on drugs, and now this is making me speculate if the dad has ever dabbled in it. It was a book mostly made for 13-year-old girls. I kind of actually hate Twilight, to be honest. No offense if you like Twilight. He actually loved it, and he decided to read all four of the book series, even the sexual one. My dad is officially a Twi dad. I thought this was incredibly weird just because of how Eugenia's mother kind of sexualizes her, then her brother has said her and now I'm just questioning the dad telling her oh you don't look a day over 14 and then now he's reading these books that are catered to literal teenage girls this was honestly such an uncomfortable video to watch and this is up on her channel now you guys this is from about nine years ago and it is titled my insane family feel free to go check it out my mom always starts doing all these weird stretches like she's good like, and she always makes the most weird faces and I always think she's just trying to annoy me but she says she's not I really hope her mom doesn't do stretches and just make those faces at her. I don't know. I feel like this whole family is just like bad crazy. And I'm sorry for saying that. This is just my opinion. She's kind of like a bubble boy at this point. Guys, one thing that I forgot to say in Deb's part is that Eugenia, when she did attend school, one of her teachers had called the mother and was like, hey, I feel like she has an unhealthy obsession with Bratz dolls. Like, I think it's unhealthy. You should probably take her to go see a psychiatrist about it. And the mom was like, my daughter's fine. And fueled Eugenia's obsession with Bratz dolls by taking her to the store that night to buy her tons of them. And I know what you're thinking, Revoke, she was probably just being a good mom, buying her kid something that she truly enjoyed. But if it was an obsession to the point where the teachers were concerned about her behavior with these Bratz dolls, and again, we didn't see this. There is no video or evidence of this, you guys, other than what was said in Eugenia's Draw My Life and some other videos as well that have surfaced of her talking about Bratz dolls. She even said Yasmin was her girl. And if you look back on it, you guys, a lot of people talked about Bratz dolls and how it could 
kind of alter body image and how people see them. You can go dig this up for yourself online. There are articles talking about this. And I just think that's a red flag there because, again, Eugenia's mom is known for not taking her to the doctor or the hospital. And Jacqueline Glenn even stated in her video that it had been about five years since Eugenia had seen a doctor and saying, like, that's just unbelievable. So I think maybe her mom... I don't know if she wants to make her kids sick or what, but it seems like she just avoids any type of mental or physical help when it comes to her children. And this is, again, just my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And I know what you're thinking, wow, what a short documentary. But don't worry, you guys, there is going to be a part two where I'm just going to bring up Eugenia's section and her side in this story now because you notice I talked about all of her family members but her. And I did make a documentary prior about her, you guys. But I kind of want to try to make a video seeing it from Eugenia's standpoint and how she might have felt during these certain family scenarios and situations. With that being said, I'll catch you in the part two, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this one so far.